hello and welcome back right before I get on and uh, make the control panel which is what I hopefully going to do today I've been running the charger just to keep the battery ticking over for the last three days and I hope you can make that out but basically it's uh, yeah it's kept the battery on charge the battery's got a very healthy 12.8 volts in it um, I slightly turned up the charging limit um, 13.7 I did try that was too high and I've settled on about 13 maximum charge it's only a very very small battery in there but uh, yeah it's working well so uh, I now need to get on and uh, start cracking on and make the uh, make the control panel and get all this mounted up properly and get all the solar lights attached so that's, that's my next now the good news is for this project is I've got lots of pieces of wood there left over from when I did the radio desk last last month whenever it was so I reckon that this bit nice bit of um, ply there I reckon that looks pretty much perfect to uh, to make the uh, control panel so uh, yeah I just think we need to uh, go and have a look in the shed and see if that fits <laughs> mind the dog so yeah the idea is is to fit in the uh, in the back of my shed here which is uh, Oh, somewhere I've never really, never really showed you. Not that you're missing much. Just uh, basically a storage shed. But uh, yeah, I thought myself. I don't know how much a camera can pick up, but I uh, oh, look at that. That is practically made for the job. I don't even have to. Uh, don't even have to cut it down, do I? So I reckon it'll go quite, uh, quite nicely there with all the cobwebs. And uh, yeah, I think there, I've got an electrical supply there, I've got a double socket so I can pick up the trickle charger for there. And uh, yeah, I think that would be, uh, be perfect. So just got to uh, drill some holes in it now. So not everything is in yet, I'm still waiting for another little panel um, which, monitor, which will monitor the voltage coming out to the, uh, to the solar lights. I want to keep an eye on the load. Uh, on that, but basically this is uh, what I've got. We've got the uh, the 12 volt alarm backup battery, the controller itself, the little um, voltage regulator, which is going to turn the voltage down to about three volts for the solar lights, and uh, a couple of um, terminal blocks. So really, I want one terminal block that will give me access to 12 volts, and then I'll need another terminal block that uh, will give me access for the uh, for the solar lights and as I say I've got another like meter thing that will go here so I can keep an eye on the, uh, the load on the solar lights but uh, basically that's about it I think I will build something here just for the battery just to uh, even though you know obviously in time I will change the battery but uh, see how we get on with this small one but I think I need to just sort of build something in there where the battery can be uh, held secure so there you go, I've made a start, I've, uh, well, basically I've drilled a load of holes, haven't I? <laughs> now it'll all make, uh, it'll all make sense, the, uh, the larger holes are for all the cabling to come through. And I've uh, got an idea of sort of, you know, expansion in the future. If I want to get a bigger battery, I'm going to need uh, a few more junction boxes over this side for the, uh, for the power takeoff. But uh, yeah, for now, um, as I say, I'm still waiting for one little thing to come in. But for now, I think we can go ahead and sort of clean that up and make it look a little bit pretty. Well, you join me on a glorious spring morning um, in late March. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. So, on with the uh, control panel. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make it look a little bit pretty like we do on Fred in the Shed. So uh, we have some of this, some well, loads of this wood dye over, which we used for the um, the radio desk. So we're gonna give it a coat. A little, uh, it's actually, it's covered in a protective coating but that's a little uh, copper off cut just a couple of quid there from ebay you can get these you know they, they sell them uh, off cuts right so when it comes to the output terminals for the solar lighting and uh, other things that I might want to want to run from the battery I've got these little uh, connection blocks here once again you know just cheap from uh, China eBay now obviously on the feed side I could put little wire loops but that's soon going to get um, rather messy so what I thought of doing is very much like you've got in a domestic PCB type 
fuse box if you like consumer unit and uh, that's why I got this little tiny bit of uh, copper off cut for a couple of quid and I'm going to attempt to make a buzz bar which is basically a continuous strip of copper which will screw into each of those terminals there and then just solder the uh, supply wire straight onto it so I can have you know sort of one of these positive and then one of these as uh, neutral and uh, that way it's a little bit more work but it should be a bit neater and it does sort of uh, it does get rather fiddly trying to do wires to each uh, each one so uh, yeah that's what we're going to uh, we're going to attempt to make i don't know if it's going to work but uh, i think it's worth Right, we're getting a little further now. The uh, control board is starting to come together. Got the uh, charge controller over this side. Battery uh, down the bottom now. I'll probably just have a cable tie or something just to uh, secure that. Um, next to it, we've got the uh, the voltage regulator. Or, yeah, mini transformer, whatever. That cuts it down from 12 to 3 volts. And, and then we've got the distribution sort of uh, circuit over here with these little junction boxes and uh, my little uh, copper bus buzz bars <laughs> or bus bars whatever you want to call them well another glorious spring day and a little bit more done on the panel um, I don't know if you can make it out I've done a little bit of the uh, wire connections on the uh, bus bars a little bit crude I suppose but uh, yeah, does the job. And now on the back, try and uh, keep it as neat as possible. Just try and keep it all logical, so uh, at least <laughs> at least I can understand it. So a little update for the uh, Fred in the Shed two viewers. And uh, yeah, I've got the little uh, ammeter thing here. If you can make that out, I've got that fitted up now. And um, I wanted to run it straight from the um, sort of three volt power reducer there but it takes six and a half volts to actually operate it so I've had to patch it in to the uh, to the battery voltage but it uh, it will still actually indicate the the ampage and the wattage and the watts per hour if I really want to know about it but it just basically keep an eye on the uh, the ampage I'm poor I'm drawing uh, from the battery obviously don't want to over over stress it with the uh, soda lights hoping right so I've got things just roughly installed into the uh, into the shed you've got the uh, solar panel there standing outside in the sunshine and very roughly and I say a bit on unfortunate on the light here hopefully that's in focus but uh, yeah I've got the I've uh, got the board up on the on the side of the shed so at the moment we're in uh, daylight I think if you can make that out we're getting, uh, it's bouncing on the maximum 13 volt, which is what I've got it set on. So it's 13 volts going into the uh, into the battery there. And I've just rigged up little, uh, little solar lights on there. So um, if I now bring the panel inside, then hopefully it will uh, it will think it's night time, and everything's going to uh, everything's going to come on. <laughs> it might not. <laughs> we'll give that a go. Thank you. Right, so just going to uh, get the panel now, stand that in the shade, so uh, it will take a little while to figure out what's going on, it take, it's not that responsive, it takes about a minute, oh there we go, oh, you see that, and uh, go outside now, there you go, so the little, uh, little lights have uh, come on, and a little charging uh, panel there. I know it doesn't show up very clear in the camera, but uh, that's that's come on, and that's uh, telling me it's drawing point uh, point one three of an amp. So just over one tenth of an amp, which is uh, pretty decent. And uh, battery voltage currently twelve point six, which you might just be able to make out on that panel there. There we go. So point one three of an amp, uh, one point six watts. And uh, yeah, that's great. So everything's working. So I just need to uh, check now that it works 
at night. <laughs> That's the whole idea. Um, still got to uh, want to put a little voltmeter in there, just keep an eye on the uh, on the panel, just to sort of well, just to finish it off really, you know. And then uh, fix all this. It's on it's on a hinge, so it can you can open and get to the wiring, but get all this fixed in and get all the wires in properly, and you know make it all nice and uh, secure. But so uh, yeah, I'm pleased to say that the basic idea works. Um, so I hadn't tried it before I fit it on fit it on the wall. Typical Fred in the shed style, of course. But so uh, yeah, so far it's getting the uh, it's getting the thumbs up treatment. Well, it's sort of half light outside. It's. Uh, it's getting dark as you can sort of see by the uh, light in the kitchen and as I come to the back door look look at that <laughs> fantastic look out we go and uh, the camera's making it look a lot lighter than it actually is if I pan up you can just still make out the uh, out the moon but look the uh, the lights at the back of the garden there that long stream of LEDs has uh, come on, and a little battery-powered, uh, little battery-powered solar lights have come on, but they won't last. Uh, they won't last for very long. But uh, I'm well impressed with that. Look, at, it's a little bit more. Um, it's a bit brighter at this end, and then it sort of does dim down a little bit as it goes along. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. That's working a treat. So that's going to stay on hopefully about six hours. So when I get up for work in the morning, at about quarter to five a.m. That should have uh, should have switched itself off, but so uh, yeah, well pleased with that. Come to the end here; they are slightly uh, duller, but uh, still a massive improvement on what we had before. So we got a slight uh, sort of duff lead there, but overall, if they all work like that, I think uh, jobs are good. Definitely. So we're just going to see how long they last, and uh, yeah, hopefully they'll last the uh, last the night and switch themselves off. Fantastic. <laughs> right, as you saw me. Uh, doing it now, made some brackets for the uh, solar panel and uh, just fix that on the corner of the summer house roof I think if I hold the camera up there you go, you should be able to see that so um, yeah a couple, a couple of little updates um, as I say the lights came on last night as you saw and as it got dark they were incredibly bright I mean you know <laughs> more floodlights than fairy lights it actually was lighting up the garden so what I did I came into the uh, little shed here and I just turned down the uh, the controller now I've got no um, voltmeter currently on this because um, this has to this has to run from the 12 volt battery to power itself so I can't really tell um, you know what is actually happening if you like so uh, basically I turn this down uh, I think you can if you just about make that out there we go I turned it down to 0 0.04 of an amp I had it running at 1.4 amps and uh, at 0 0.4 the little uh, leads there you know they sort of kind of went down to a much more <laughs> much more sensible sensible level so um, I let that run for six hours which was a bit of an overkill because it started at 8 o'clock at night so it ran to about 2 o'clock in the morning and I did get up at half one just to use the loo and I checked out and it was still running uh, and then when I got up at uh, to go to work I was up about half four it was all dark and I came down here actually just at uh, just at five o'clock just to check the the battery voltage and it's picked up a bit now because I've had the lamp on but the battery voltage which is sort of there if I can get this to focus there we go that would drop down to 12 point uh, 12.1 volts so uh, that hadn't really dropped at all that was six hours of the uh, single single lead so uh, what I've done now is uh, I've just wired in the second set of leads which is the ones on the front of the summer house and we've got those running at the moment which I say is 0 0.04 of an amp it's pulling just half a watt of uh, of power 
but it's been a very dull day today there's been no sunshine it's sort of been slightly overcast a little bit drizzling with rain and things so but the battery was still charged up to about 12.6 right okay we're going to bring this one to a close i think we're over the 15 minute mark i don't want to bore the arse off you too much um yeah i will be coming back to this project in the future adding a few more lights and things and some more stuff to the control panel so uh, subscribe if you want to see more on the Freddy and shed 2 channel but uh, as for now cheers thanks for sticking with it hope you enjoyed it and yeah as always i'll uh, catch you all on the next one stay safe <laughs>